Hey everyone, I'm Evan with First Updates Now. I'm here with Sahej, Joseph, Sean, and Vidhatu from Team 1533 Triple Strange. Today on Behind the Bumpers, we'll be looking at their really, really unique robot. It's an all-in-one design, has a massive claw for algae, a deep climb. We'll be looking at the design, the system integration, everything, and the controls that went into making this awesome robot. This is a team that was in the pioneers of Swerve Drive and has always been one of the top powerhouses in North Carolina. This video on fun is brought to you by our viewers, supporters, members, and also in partnership with the following. Animark provides superior service with the reliability that teams expect. Check out their sport gearbox and ratchet sport options to their tried and true compliant wheels used by teams all over the world. From mechanical and electrical products to tools and hardware, head on over to animark.com for your one-stop shop of high quality and affordable solutions. Osh Cut is a premier metal cutting service for first teams. No minimum order, options for same day turnaround, guaranteed lead times, and instant online quotes. Osh Cut is offering first teams 50% off any future order up to $200 when you scan the QR code or go to funroboticsnetwork.com slash OSHCUT. Just upload a 3D model or plot pattern to get started. John, if you can go ahead and talk to me more about like the design and everything that went into making this robot possible. All right, yeah. So our main design, our main superstructure consists of uh, a pivoting arm on a chain, um, an extending elevator, and then a pivoting wrist with a dual-purpose algae and coral intake. All right. So what made you guys go with this archetype? What what made you? Because it's so unique compared to anyone else. All right. So um. We went through multiple uh, archetypes before we ended up on this one. Um, we were originally thinking of a static arm, but we realized that if we were able to make our arm pivot, we could much more easily integrate our climb without having to add more motors. Um, so we decided on the pivoting arm for that reason. Um, we decided on an elevator so we would be able to score all four levels. Um, and we decided on a like pivoting intake so we could use it to both score coral and algae. Um, yeah. All right. And is this controlled by Kraken's custom gearboxes? What are you using uh, to move all this? All of our motors are Kraken X60s. Um, we have a custom uh, built 240 to 1 gearbox um, pivoting the arm. Um, and then we have an entirely internal belt rigging for our elevator. So we have an internal belt path for the elevator. And then for the wrists, our um, intake and wrist motors are down inside stage three. Um, and the belts are ran entirely inside the three stage three tubes up to the pivots. Awesome. All right, if, Joseph, if you can talk a little bit more about the climber that's on this thing. So our climb is a custom design. We chose this design because if we were to use an every ball climb, it would require a lot of space out, which would uh, interrupt the funnel movement. So we put the elevator into a vertical position. So this is perpendicular to the bars of the cage. And the bars will hit into these, push them down, and get locked into here. All right. And it's it locks by a spring plunger, okay. which hits a hole in the side of the latch here. And then we pivot the arm down, and the, it just creates enough friction where the arm will hold onto the cage, and then we climb. Uh, we have these polycarbonate wings on the side of the on the side of the climb for the for funneling the cage into it, and they're wide enough where the cage won't get around it and then locked into here, and then uh, stay locked in. Awesome. This is really unique and low profile design. If Sahaj, if you want to talk a little bit more about the systems integration that went into making this all in one possible. Yeah, so we really believe in systems integration. We have a lot of different things moving on our pivot. I'll go through them. So we have our climb, which is connected to camshafts on the arm, which ensure that, our, that which is connected to the pivot, which is connected to camshafts, um, which ensure that the funnel um, gets at the right position when we're at, when we're intaking, um, and funnily enough, our climb is connected to our funnel using a, <laughs> a piece of surgical tubing, which ensures that it springs back to the right location. Our intake is also on our pivot. Yeah, this is super cool. A ton, I can obviously tell a ton of work went into this, making it all all in one. But had to, if you can talk a little bit more about the controls that went into program, we use. Choreo and Pathliner 
to for event markers because this is what we found to work in previous years. We want to try just running straight choreo like we've seen other teams do, but um, yeah, that's about it. And then the other interesting thing we've done is with our vision. So right now we're only running one camera, but well, how we're using that camera is pretty interesting. So early in the season, we saw Mechanical Advantage's post on how they had done single tag vision for reef alignment, and we decided to um, implement their version on our robot as well. So we found that we've been able to have very little error in our alignment. Awesome. And so what sensors are you using to control this? Yeah, so for vision, we're using a Orange Pi with Ardu cams this year because we found that when we had multiple cameras of other brands, we couldn't rename them. So we had a lot of problems with connecting. And then we're using can coders as for all of our encoders. And for zeroing our elevator, we just start checking our current to see if it spikes. Awesome. And I know you guys mentioned something about a laser on your robot as well. You can talk a bit yeah, about so that. Um, we're using a banner laser and we haven't been able to completely in implement this yet for this competition. But what we're planning on doing is it in the um, scoring positions, the laser should hit the reef pole and we can check our we can check if we're actually aligned by checking the laser. What this means is we can get much faster cycles because instead of having to like, you know, rely on your vision or like if you have like, I don't know, poor, poor vision kind of like instead of relying on human error, we just check our smart dashboard. It'll be like you're aligned and then you outtake. Yeah. Awesome. I can tell a ton of work went into making this all possible. All the integration, everything. You guys are super impressive. This is an incredible robot and I wish you all the best of luck during the playoffs and the rest of the competition and states and all the rest of the all the rest of the season. Thank you so much. Thank you. Thanks for watching. Don't forget to like, subscribe, and click the bell to stay up to date on future fun videos. Osh Cut is a premier metal cutting service for first teams. No minimum order, options for same day turnaround, guaranteed lead times, and instant online quotes. Osh Cut is offering first teams 50% off any future order up to $200 when you scan the QR code or go to funroboticsnetwork.com slash OSHCUT. Just upload a 3D model or flat pattern to get started. Animark provides superior service with the reliability that teams expect. Check out their sport gearbox and ratchet sport options to their tried and true compliant wheels used by teams all over the world. From mechanical and electrical products to tools and hardware, head on over to animark.com for your one-stop shop of high quality and affordable solutions.